Hello my friends, Kathy Campanelli here with a spooky Halloween edition of Let's Get Cereal. I am joined by Amy from Darklight. This is such a great setup. I'm feeling very eerie and mildly unsettled. Good. In a great way. How it's supposed to be. It's Halloween time, it's all spooky, spooky season. Now speaking of which, I noticed you are masked. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be in the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to eat cereal through a Jason mask, you know, even though it's got like the cool logo on it that we modified for. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this, you know, to be all, ooh, scary. Well, and I'm feeling very festive in my in my Oogie Boogie dark light top. Ooh, I wore the mayor today. You know, we're, we gotta keep in the theme because Cereal. We've got the cereal now. This this was quite a quite a hunt, quite a seek and find mission yep. that Amy went on. But we found it. We've got it. And we got it. We've got Oogie Boogie Funko. Shall we dig into it? I think so. Okay, cool. And apparently, it comes with a free pop figure too, which is like super fancy for a prize in the cereal thing. Like I know. We really... rings and all that stuff. No, we get a pop. We upgraded. All like hunty green, just like oogie. It's slime green. Hopefully, it's not slimy. I'd like a. I like a crunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a good texture to it. Like when Rice Krispies go soggy, I'm. I'm Forget it. I'm no, done. it's done. Just throw it out. It doesn't really. I'm not getting much of an aroma. The closest I can see to it is like. You know the vanilla frosted or uh, uh, Cheerios. Yes, the it's, Frosted Cheerios. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's kind of like that. Do they say? It doesn't say. I was actually looking. It just says multi-grain cereal. Oh, well, we'll find out. It's a tasty treat and it's fun to eat. That's for darn sure. Hey, I like rhyming. Wait, you know you did it wrong, right? It's milk first. No. Amy. <laughs> milk first. Amy, no. It's not milk first. <laughs> Amy, it's not milk first. Don't make me flip this. It's such a nice setup and we have flammable things here. Do not make me flip this table by saying it's milk first, Amy. All right, so we got a good ratio. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. And let's get cereal. I hope you know what I mean by this. Okay. It tastes green. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a little like li like lime, like sit are you getting, sit okay. Yeah. Color totally informs flavor. Yes. Like a lot. Kind of like in Fruit Loops. Exactly. I'm tasting some blue. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like a little blueberry flavor to like mix in with the liminess. At first taste, I'm getting a little bit of berry. Mm hmm. But That's then as the it, blue. yeah, as it settles, I'm like, there's a little, little lime there. A little mm -hmm. bit of lime. We're eating cereal that's based on one of my favorite Halloween movies, which can be watched, of course, any time of the year. I was gonna say that. Do you have a certain favorite Halloween movie, something that gets you in the spirit, or something you feel like you have to watch every year? Well, like you, Nightmare Before Christmas is year round. Mm -hmm. I think the first Child's Play. Mmm, what? That's definitely one. First Nightmare on Elm Street. That, like, classic. I handled horror movies like pretty well as a kid. Mm -hmm. That was the one that got me. Freddy messed me up hardcore. Well, the thing with Freddy is you're never safe. Yeah. Like a lot of the time you would think, oh, I could hide under the covers or go to sleep and this will be all be over. Nope. Hell no, Freddy's coming for you. Take a bath. Hey, pervert, you're in the bath with me. I don't know. Freddy's everywhere. I remember having nightmares of when they're down in the boiler room and he jumps out from behind mm -hmm. one of the pipes and oh, yep. So I definitely have to do that to like, get me into like, oh, I'm scared. This is the right time of year to be scared exactly. type thing. But, one of my absolutely mm -hmm. like, I know it's Halloween season when I see Hocus Pocus. Oh, I watched it like two nights ago. Genius. Amok, amok, amok. Amok, amok, amok. It is like a fun and weird movie too because like, it's it's a time period piece at moments, yeah. and then there's musical numbers, obviously because of Bette Midler, but Bette like delivering. Yeah, of everything. course. <laughs> I mean, like I'm, I'm sure that was in the contract of like, sure, I'll do this movie. Mm. It's a paycheck movie. I'll do this movie, but there's got to be some music in there, you know, because I need to sell some albums. Obviously, yeah. I don't know if anyone ever confirmed if Sarah Jessica Parker sang that song actually or not. That the Come Little Children know. song. Someone Google it. Let oh, no. us know in the comments. I was gonna say, please post below. By the time we post this, I'm sure I'll have to Google it because I realize I can't let time pass 
without Googling something. Like if I if it's on my mind, I like need to know right away. Really? We're such an, we're instant gratification culture. I was gonna say you can't practice patience, you know. Well I'm going to now. Now I'm going to now. If you already Google it and then they tell us in the comments. I'll be like, then, yeah I know. Duh, you know. No, we're, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until we post this. And then she'll tell me because I'll practice patience as well with you. We'll we'll grow internally it's together. A, it's a chain of communication and mm -hmm. I approve. I'm not getting bored with this yet, which is a good thing. It's a weird thing with the Funko cereals because Halston Body and I tried the Kiss Funko Pop cereal. Oh, wow. There's something about the texture that I actually quite enjoy. It's not super grainy, Yeah. but it's it stays relatively crunchy. I like the ring shape. The shape and the thickness of the ring reminds me of Fruit Loops back in the day. There is that like, Cheerio multi-grain uh, taste and texture to it as well. Which is a nice that. little hybrid. I'm liking it. I was intrigued by mm -hmm. the Halloween crunch and how it's supposed to turn your milk green. I was curious if this was gonna do it at all. I'm not bored of it in this sitting, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like I would do like back-to-back -back bowls of it. It's not a go-to, oh my God, I gotta have the cereal. Mm -hmm. I will admit I fell for the gimmick. I mean, it's Oogie Boogie. Hello. That's what's driving me to the cereal. So I think if I would want the cereal, I'd be like, oh, I'm in an Oogie Boogie nightmare for Christmas mood. Rather than a, this flavor, I gotta have it in my mouth. What is kind of a go-to cereal for you? Of like, oh God. Something you crave. Frosted Flakes. Classic. Uh, Golden Grahams, which I know that's, that's, that's your jam. Amy, you're speaking my language. Yep. I love me some Golden Grahams. Golden Grahams is awesome. You would think you get sick of it, but like even the variation of textures on either side of it, that makes it like enjoyable every single time. I'm gonna bottoms up this piece because oh, I don't nice. mess around. I'm a professional cereal eater. This has taken me years to cultivate. I trained in the Far East. Cooked. <laughs> and I spilled milk all down myself. Boogie's pissed. He's gonna turn you into snake and spider stew now. I mean, probably. Even cereal champs have off days, and that's okay. You need a let's get cereal bib. Which wow. will be appearing on her shop pretty soon. Wow. You merchandise genius, you. Well, I, that is kind of my profession. Speaking of your profession, tell us a little bit more about Darklight and tell me where people can find out more. So Darklight's really cool, positive, themed, oriented, uh, clothing line that uh, does a whole bunch of stuff, including wrestling, which is how we got connected. Uh, we're big supporters of the uh, LGBTQ wrestling movement. We got t-shirts and enamel pins of that. Uh, we also tell everyone to keep wrestling evil, you know, because we've got enough uh, cool characters, happy, fun characters, but we're missing the dark, evil ones, you know, like Undertaker. And now we've got The Fiend. Well, I mean, but we still have The Fiend. And uh, yeah, so we're trying to kind of boost up some you know, some of the darker characters like the Carnies, uh, really cool trios, you should check them out. Check us out at darklight.com, but here's the thing, we don't like vowels at Darklight, so get rid of them, D-R-K-L-G-H-T. Uh, and then so on the Instagrams, it's at darklightclothes, C-L-O-T-H-E-S, but Facebook, Twitter, even our Snapchat, it's at darklightclothing. Uh, check us out there, we also got some nifty shirts, so like the shirts that we're wearing today, they're coming from our Disney goth collection, so a nice little community that we're leading there right now. You know, we're trying to band us all together and be the fun little spooky kids. So Halloween time is going on at Disneyland and at Disney World, so we're all extra happy. Jack just took over the, ha the Haunted Mansion, made it all holiday themed. You know, we're counting down to Halloween, which is why I'm wearing the mayor shirt. You know, while we're in the holiday spirit, we've yeah. got to remember the most important part about this cereal. Amy, say trick or treat. Trick or treat. <gasps> it's the toy in the box. And look, it's a little oogie boogie, just like her shirt. Ta-da! Yay! The, on the box it said, not actual size, which you usually think is bigger, but I don't know, he's kind of cute. Not actual size, he's in fact, weird. <gasps> Wee! Thank you all for watching this edition of Let's Get Cereal. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Darklight. And we'll see you later. Bye!